Restaurants in Iowa getting ready this week to apply for a new grant program intended for locally owned brick and mortar restaurants. New tonight, Local 5's John Diaz talked with a family who owns a restaurant to understand what this grant would mean for them. This is the only one that has ever been in Iowa, so this is the only Ecuadorian restaurant. Me Patria in West Des Moines. Uh, I got co uh, cousins, uncle, and family run for nearly a decade. I'll, I'll make a note of a medium rare. We'll bring it out to you like that. Today, fighting to stay open. 2020 it has been a really tough year. The pandemic slashing business. And you're just hoping every day you the phone ring for anybody to walk in. In-person dining owner Cesar Miranda says down more than 80 percent. Right now, look, look at it. There's nobody here. You still have to pay them for it to, to come in and hoping that, you know, we get some business today. Starting next week, a new $40 million program launching to help restaurants like his. We're really pleased that the state is recognizing the importance of independently owned small restaurants and bars across the state and doing something to just save us. Beginning February 1st, eligible restaurants can apply for grants up to $25,000. When you're looking at that, yeah, ten dollars to $25,000 is real money in the restaurant world. How much a restaurant receives will be based on how big a percentage loss they experienced last year. Miranda, no stranger to programs like this. That's the things why we're so open. Because I think if we don't get any help, I don't know if I would be sitting here talking to you. And while he remains hopeful, he says there are too many unknowns. You know, one day everything will come back to normal. How long it's going to take, I don't think anybody knows. Yeah, well, I mean, we just feel for all of these small businesses, John, that are hurting right now, struggling. Not every restaurant, though, you know, qualifies for this grant. Yeah, Stephanie, let's take a look at some of the specific qualifications that restaurants have to meet in order to be eligible. They have to be Iowa based with brick and mortar locations. Uh, national chains and franchises are not eligible for this grant, and they have to have had uh, seen 15% decrease in sales during the second and third quarters of last year. The impacts of grants like these can be widespread. Pre-pandemic, there was about 155,000 Iowans working in the food and beverage sector. Stephanie, back to you. All right, John, thank you.